Good morning and welcome to my channel everybody out there on YouTube. Thanks for joining me in a whole new video. Today I brought you to Tad Luong Lake in Vientiane, Lao. Sunshine beating on the good times, more light blessing from the grave. Stream by playing work on the honky tongs, pretty young thing going dancing in the rain. One of my favorite places to come for an early morning run, walk, most of the time actually, let's be honest, I'm not running. But I do like a nice walk early morning, clear the mind. And if you can't see, it is very busy on a Saturday morning. Now on a weekday, there's hardly anybody here. You have the whole place to yourself. But if you're looking for somewhere to exercise with a nice view when you're in Vientiane, this is the place. And let me show you a little bit. We have the outer ring, the inner ring here. There's also the outer ring that way. And then you have even the most inner ring here along the lake. And let's see if we can find a way down in there actually. I think there's a path right here. I've come this morning to meet some of my students who are running a half marathon. So it's very green and lush everywhere you go. But this place is is definitely my go-to. It can be hard sometimes in Vientiane if, if you're not much of a walker. I'm a big walker, so I make it happen. But this place is always available. So think about it for your next for your next uh, time out exercising here in Vientiane. I'd highly recommend it. Let's get some footage. Now they have over here the development. This is supposed to be supposed to be in special economic zone. And correct me if I'm wrong, anybody out there. I think it is made for Chinese to come in and do business. Now that's one of the things I love about this place as well, actually speaking of which is when you come here you really get to get a feel of how much of a melting pot of languages Vientiane is. Something that I really enjoy as, as a language lover, enthusiast, whatever word you want to use. I love learning languages. I, even the ones I, I don't know, I like to hear them spoken. And it, I just feel like it brings a brings so much different culture different language different foods and when you come here you're going to hear Chinese Mandarin many different dialects of Chinese you'll hear Lao you might hear Thai of course and Hmong so I I haven't heard a lot of Vietnamese although everywhere you go in Vientiane there are signs in Vietnamese and Lao, almost all the signs seem to be Vietnamese and Lao. Loads of Chinese everywhere. This place, to me, if you're a language lover, then it's paradise. 
it's absolute paradise. You learn everywhere you go. And surprisingly, out of all the big cities I've lived in, actually, I feel like you're much more close and uh, upfront with the languages here, you know? There may be communities and maybe people speaking all those languages in these other big cities, of course. Like Saigon, Shanghai, Bangkok, I've, all those places I've lived and worked. But I feel like something about Lao that you're just with everything, that you're, you're right there. And uh, it's very up close and personal with you. The jungle is up close and personal. <laughs> and you get a real sense of the languages that are available or spoken and the, the people that live here because when i walk around the city i'll hear those languages <clears throat> like chinese mandarin chinese which you know in even in shanghai i it seemed like it was hard to pick out the mandarin a lot of times because people would be speaking so many different dialect shanghainese and and whatnot but that's not the point of this video actually so let's continue with our walk no not many people actually walk on this inside part here that's right up against the lake I'm not sure why people will usually be along this path taking pictures though When did they build this actually? Anybody out there? Leave a comment below if you know when it was built and if you have any details about it. I'd like to know some of the details about it. Some of it looks a bit unfinished, but uh, it's beautiful nonetheless. It's lovely to come out here though and see all the families that are actually out too you know early in the morning a lot of families will be out here sometimes people bring out their like little tables chairs let me see if i can find a path to get up to the road this inner ring here because that's where people will set up camp if you will let's check out uh, what we got going on over here oh wow actually people have set up food stands you know I've I've come mostly during the week in the morning I have not come on a Saturday if I or Saturday or Sunday if I have it's been a little bit later so all of this all this stuff is closed and gone by then cool so if you can see the sign there it looks like this little truck stand is selling the Vietnamese mang quan Vietnamese breakfast food they got some burgers going on here that's pretty sweet oh how cool is this I've uh not seen this yet like I've only seen the, them picking everything up this is this is like an event every on the weekends wow you got some coffee get your fix smells good But here is the thing I saw last time I was here on a weekend I thought was pretty interesting. They also are bring out some cars to display and sell. That's how busy it is here uh, with people on the weekends. back for this that's for sure because uh you now 
<laughs> this is Bao. <laughs> so, looks like I found my friends here. <laughs> They're getting after it already, but I was gonna come back for this because I am partial to a croissant with chocolate in it. Oh my. Ow. Nan Lao Lo. Nan Lao. Nan Lao Lo. Sipsi Lo. Sipsi Kilo. Another coffee place. We've got our, got our smoothies. I'm gonna keep walking in. Ow. Can Pepsi the sao lei? Hong me hai look in the look Pepsi. Man. Hong me hai Pepsi the. Ah, I think that's the last of it actually. That's with the vendors and whatnot. Anybody that's into cars out there in in Lao or outside of Lao, I would love to learn more because there's tons of old cars here that are just so freaking cool. Look at this old Land Rover, what is this? The one of these cars, like these Land Rovers, I don't know, not necessarily Land Rovers, but Kind of more like not this Mitsubishi, but it'll be like a Toyota. That's the dream car out here, because uh, a lot of the roads they just aren't. You need an off-road car. You need an off-road truck if you really want to get out there and, and off the beaten track in Lao for sure. <laughs> Look at this little spot here. There's always people chilling up there. Tree there, the garage in the number four. Two witnesses below an app high. Not two rules will be done. You can call me a sinner for the wondering why. Hey darling, sleeping on the black top. Hey darling, you're running to the trees, honey. Hey darling, you're living for the next time. Just on my sense, got you up with me. Hey darling, you're sleeping on the black top. Hey darling, you're running to the trees, honey. Hey darling, you're waiting for the next time. It's the my sense, got you up with me.